Second and ten for the Bills from their own 15. Manuel sacked by Olivier Vernon. That was easy for Olivier Vernon. Welcome back to Sports Extra. Time now to talk a little football and here to talk Big Blue. Anita Marks, who is an NFL and fantasy analyst on ESPN, as well as part of the Giants broadcast team. Anita, yes. Victor Cruz. Now, I know, I he know. He said he felt great during warm-ups with the team during right. the preseason game yesterday and that he will practice Monday. What can we realistically expect with one more preseason game to go? That's the million-dollar question. Yeah. I, I will say this. This is probably the most important week of Victor Cruz's life mm -hmm. this coming week because he did not play in preseason game number one. Number two, he has to play. He has to show the coaching staff and, and Jerry Reese and the Giants that he is at least, let's say, 75, 85% of what he used to be and that he can contribute to this wide receiving core. So he needs to practice. When he does practice and, and, and he does go up against some physicality off the line of scrimmage with the, of course, the corners and the slot corner, yeah. show that he can create some separation and he needs to play against the Jets on Saturday. While we're speaking of offense, the offensive line did not look good against Buffalo. No. Any concerns there? What are the concerns? I think there's huge concerns. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. The right side of the offensive line is the one that really, like, coming into the season, you had some concerns. Marshall Newhouse, who was him, Bobby Hart, what was the left side of the line, you're pretty solid with Flowers and Pew and Richburg, right. but they didn't even play well against the Buffalo Bills. So, um, so yeah, after this preseason game number two, it's some major, major concerns on the offensive line because, A, you need to protect Eli Manning, who you just re-upped his contract. Hopefully he'll still play quarterback for the Giants for the next three to five years. you got to keep him healthy. And also the Giants need to establish a rushing attack. Speaking of Eli, our own Duke Castiglione interviewed Eli, said he looks like he's in the best shape of his life. What kind of season can we expect from Eli? It's interesting. I, I've gone on the record on my radio show saying that I really do believe, first of all, I think the Giants have the team this season to win 10 games mm -hmm. and really compete in the NFC East. On top of that, if they do that, I think Eli Manning can be in the discussion of MVP this season. He ha this is his third year yeah. in Ben McAdoo's system. He's got Odell Beckham Jr. The offense went out and they drafted Sterling Shepard. If they can establish a rushing attack, I really do believe this can hands down be the best statistical year for Eli Manning. I really, really do believe that. All right, let's talk defense. Now, okay. there's talent there this season. Are there any particular... Show me the money. I, well, which, they which spend which so much money. That's there why. better be. There better be talent. Right. So why, how can they be good? Are, are there any positions where the guys are fighting for their jobs? Well, I think, I think Giants fans have to be really excited about what's going on on, on the defensive line okay you got Olivier Vernon who comes mm -hmm. in they re-up JPP I think snacks coming over from the Jets was probably one of the best off-season gets for the Giants um, at the DB position of course you got DRC you've got Jenkins they bring him in Eli Apple was drafted mm -hmm. he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna play a little corner throughout I love Landon Collins the biggest competition right now is the linebacker position and who's going to play that middle linebacker. Hmm. Jesper Brinkley, who was on this team last year, is one leg up. They have a guy, Kelvin Shippard, who they brought in from the Miami Dolphins, who's competing with him. Right. But Jonathan Casillas has hands down been one of the most impressive linebackers so far in preseason. And J2 Thomas, who hasn't been able to practice because he's still on the pup, he needs, you can't make the club in the tub, T. You, <laughs> you can't gotta get out of the tub and get on the field. The club in yeah. the tub. And Casillas is really balling out. So right now in regard to competition, what's going on at this linebacking core is really intriguing. Final question, off the field concerns. This mm -hmm. Josh Brown suspension. Ugh. A lot of new sordid details are coming out. Right. The NFL has suspended him that one game, but you know the Giants. What are they going to do with him? I think it's a difficult situation for the Giants to be in right now. Listen, any any conduct in regard to domestic abuse, the NFL and Roger Goodell has had six games. Yeah. But based on the information and the research that they've done and the investigation, he's only gotten one game. Again, it's a lot of he said, she said. I've always said this. There's three sides to every story, mm -hmm. right? Right now, it's Josh Brown's story. It's Molly Brown's story. And somewhere in the middle lies the truth. Will we ever find out exactly what happened? No. But right now, what we do know, one game suspension. He's not going to be on the field against the Dallas Cowboys. And, and we'll see what happens, what, what progresses. Seri yeah, serious story. Important position for the Giants, though, as well. So we'll oh, see what develops. Absolutely. Anita, thank you. Great thank to you. see you, as always. Thank Good you. luck this season. You got it. All right.